we have to be at least three feet off the ground, I would say. Easily. Three, four feet off the ground. The tires go up to Cam's chest. They do, this is a... Uh... Doesn't make any sense. I feel like I'm in an airplane right now. I feel like we're on the runway at the airport and we're getting ready for a flight. Jared's backing the thing up. He's an experienced driver. He got his driver's license six months ago. And, uh, it, oh yeah. Yeah, Jared Ford is trusting him with this absolute unit. All right, we did it. Good We're job, back. Jared. We made it. Your first maneuver. So we used to call him Jared the intern. Now we call him Jared the driver. He uh, drives us around. It's the primary gig here at the Nation Network. We also call him Jared Dad because he's our driver. Sometimes we call him Jared Bear. He drives us to soccer practices. That's chilly. All right, we got to turn up the. Tip. We got an extremely functioning um, heating and cooling system here. Do we want to go high? High. I'm. Cool. Do we want to go low? Do we want to maybe go somewhere in the middle? Do you want to connect a phone? Maybe we uh, do want to connect to. Oh, we got a backup camera here. There's no way you could drive into anybody no. because if you did with this thing they'd probably die they probably wouldn't survive that collision this thing is massive this is the kind of vehicle where if you got into a collision you would not take the brunt of the damage they would Man. so if that's the kind of thing you're looking for <laughs> then this is the vehicle for you it's got a bang and olsen stereo system yeah, very good stereo tunes. we'll throw some tunes on we'll a little throw bit some tunes. i feel like i'm in bigfoot a grave digger this thing is a monster. But you know what? It drives nice. Just it like does, the last it's a real night. smooth go. All right, so we gotta talk some hockey here. Yep. How about that game last night? So we're recording this on Wednesday, which is the day after the Oilers obliterated the Los Angeles Hat Kings. tricks for everyone. Hat tricks for dry You side. get a hat trick, you get a hat trick, everyone gets a hat trick. Hat tricks for Nuge. Uh, first career hat trick for Leon Drysaddle. Can yep. you do that? Second one Huge. for Nugent Hopkins, the first since his rookie season. Anyway, so now this brings the question, uh, will the Oilers make the playoffs? They will not, but it's a, long way. it's a long road to the top. One thing I will be honest that I find very disappointing about these games here down the stretch is if the Oilers had managed to win those easy games against teams like New Jersey and Ottawa, they would be just two points out of a playoff spot right now with a game against yep. Colorado left. Right now they're five points behind Colorado. Uh, tied in games like it, it's so infuriating to think back at the games the easy losses that they had Exactly, you beat the New Jersey Devils. It didn't even have a uh, reigning MVP Taylor Hall. Yep could have beat the um, Carolina Ottawa Hurricanes, Senators. Ottawa Senators, Carolina, you you name it uh, at the trade deadline We talked about how easy the Oilers schedule is going Super to be for easy the rest of the year and the Oilers absolutely blew it Okay, this is where we dropped off Evan I see no Evan. Evan is not here. There's no evidence of Evan. It's a different train, so maybe he rode the rails. He could be. Evan could be in Manitoba right now. Oh. Looking for that airport. Will we ever see Evan again? Please, if anybody sees our large adult son, Evan the intern, let us know. We want Evan home. We want him back. I don't feel bad for him. That's the price you pay for losing Coombs Tribune. That is the price you pay. Uh, Them's so the rules. My other question for you guys is, we know on Tuesday night the Oilers obliterated the LA Kings. Yes. They play, uh, who do they play on Dallas. Dallas. They're playing Dallas, you're going to that game. When you're watching this video, that would be last night. Um, big win. <laughs> big win. <laughs> we can film two different versions right now, all right? The Oilers absolutely spanked the Dallas Stars last night, 5-1, or the Oilers got absolutely spanked last night by the Dallas Stars, 6-2. Either way. Two different versions. We'll film two different versions, see what happens. So, it's cool that the Oilers beat the Kings, and it's cool that the Oilers beat Dallas last night, hopefully. But, that, that really puts us in a worse position for the draft lottery coming up on April 9th. It does. What I think, at this stage, would we rather see the Oilers... See, it's kind of a short versus long term thing, and this is, uh, this is something we're very accustomed to as Oilers fans in the 2010s. 
Would you rather see an 8-4 win against the Kings where two guys, important long-term players, Dreisaitl and Nugent Hopkins, scoring hat tricks? Dreisaitl's coming close to hitting the 50-goal plateau. Nugent Hopkins going to hit 30 for the first time in his career. That's exciting short-term. But what they're doing is rising up the standings, and they're they're shafting themselves out of a draft lottery position. It's so bittersweet. I went into Tuesday's game against L.A. thinking, like, kind of hoping for a loss, I'm not going to lie. And then we scored five goals in the first period, and I'm like, hey, I guess we're winning. Like, I guess the team morale is good and all. That's but what I mean, our draft lottery position. Yeah, that's kind of what you feel is you, you roll into the game kind of hoping for an L because it's a, it's a long-term W. But then when the game starts and they're rolling and, you know, you got the cold ones in your system. I know Chris loves slamming the cold ones. Jared loves slamming cold ones. Love them. Jared em. was watching the game on television. It was. He got in one. Yeah, a couple. Uh, apparently had a hard time putting on his pants the next morning. Something, Some extra clothes something, in something my pant like, legs. Something that like that. I didn't that realize. Was going on. But yeah, once you got the blood flowing, you want to see the team win. Exactly. Yeah. That's what we're here for, right? Do we really care if the Oilers draft fifth overall versus eighth overall? No. Does it make that big of a difference, or would you rather see some big W's and some goals and slam some cold ones? If uh, if it's gonna come down to the Oilers trading the first pick overall uh, at the end of the day. Uh, we should just enjoy the wins right now. We should just enjoy all the happy times. We should enjoy all the career highs exactly. that the Oilers are going through right now. So let me let me ask <laughs> one question. How is it that the Oilers, as of right now when we're filming this, they have two guys in the top four in scoring, David second, Drysaddle is fourth. They got Nugent Hopkins, Drysaddle, GA's on, as Chris said. Having career years, setting new career high, Zach Cassian, career high. Everyone setting career high. How is this team not in the playoffs? What is happening? I'll tell this you. This doesn't add up. I'll tell you, I think... A it, it was it was our back end. It was defense and it was goaltending. We didn't get goaltending from Koskinen or Talbot like we needed, like we have in recent years. And Andre Sakara being out for the majority of the season was the dagger. Um, clearly, the Oilers started playing much better uh, when Sakara returned. Uh, but then, obviously, we made just this, these stupid trades for for bottom pair defensemen that made no difference to our team. So, what our strategy trying to replace Sakara? Um, for the season went horribly wrong and we paid for it. I would be willing to claim right now that if Oscar Clefbaum had not gotten hurt in November, yeah, the Clefbaum Oilers would make the playoffs. Yeah. That would have been, I think when Bob Nicholson said that Toby Reader scoring X amount of goals was the difference, I think that's inaccurate. I think the it, what it came down to was the injuries to Andres Sakara and Oscar Clefbaum. Those are what sunk the team because they actually had a lot of things go right this year. They had so many things go right this year. Everybody's playing great, minus a few guys. And I mean, you can, you can. Maybe, maybe 14 more goals may have done it for us. 15 goals. Maybe if uh, maybe we get a few more hat tricks from Leon Dreis. Hey, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. It's a uh, sad, dark, gloomy times here in Edmonton. But let me tell you. What isn't sad is rolling around in this absolute unit. I gotta tell you guys, for as big as this truck is, this thing drives like a dream. It is. It's a smooth drive. It I also, is very nice. I, I feel like I'm floating around right now in a cloud. You I ever, could go on a road trip in this thing <coughs> to Fort McMurray and feel very good about myself. Also, I've noticed uh, big trucks, like big rig drivers, are. are Big rig drivers are giving me the the wave because we're on the same height level as them. We are on the same height level as. And they, look at that. We got a. Just, we're just hitting. We the got a real truck road. right here. <laughs> Should we give him a head nod? Yeah. Let's uh, a give him a little head nod right here. We are. Oh, yeah, see, we are the same we're level. All in the same path. We are delivering cargo right now, and the cargo is content and classic vinyl hits like Hotel California by the Eagles. Uh, we don't have the rights. <laughs> To this song. Damn it, Jared. What's uh, what's Sherrod Ford got going on in the next couple weeks? They Kay. got a little pet program, don't they? Oh, yeah. Give me a second. Okay, so Sherrod Ford's doing something super cool. I've got all the deets. Thank you, Sherrod Ford. Very, Very cool. cool. Might be some celebrity dogs there. So we want everybody to clear their calendars for April 27th. It's a Saturday between 1 and 4 p.m. Um, Sherrod Ford has partnered up with SCARS, Second Chance Animal Rescue Society, and they are having an adopt a pet day. So Sherd Ford and Scars are bringing a ton of pets to the Sherd Ford, the giant location. Uh, Everything, uh, all the way from dogs, cats, birds, 
snakes, horses, cows, donkeys, ostriches, emus, zebras, uh, giraffes, camels. dolphins, sharks. We've got to we've got to confirm on sharks. The, the last the last uh, that is yeah contact. wildly inaccurate. I know for sure there'll be dogs. There. Dogs and cats, one hundred percent. Dogs, 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 hundred percent. Dogs, hundred percent. Cats, like seventy-five percent. Yes. So, anyways, they want they're, they're going to be pumping out storylines. Ferrets. They're going to be pumping out storylines all month long in April. So keep an eye on that. They're going to be introducing the pets that are going to be there. If you are looking to adopt a pet, adopt a dog, uh, save his life. Come to Shirt Forward on April twenty seventh. Uh, we might even have a celebrity guest dog appearance. Ooh, uh, that's Airbud. Airbud. <laughs> Airbud will be in the mix. Touchdown, uh, Airbud. Airbud from movies such as Airbud and Airbud 2, Airbud 3, and Airbud 4, Airbuds, Air plural, Buds. where the whole Airbud family is around. Yep. Also, maybe Frank and Gus might be there. So if uh, if you want to meet the two celebrity Twitter dogs, come on out. If you want to um, adopt a pet, please come on out. Is They'll that be- Evan? Is that Evan? No. Oh, it's a, it's a, it's a, that was just a pile of tires. Pole. I just see his sweater laying in the dirt of the ditch. Oh, that's not a good sign. I see uh, a bunch of clothing. That's Uh-oh. that's scary. Some teeth. Yeah. That's not good. So uh, as we wrap up this Nation Talks, uh, one thing we can conclude is that we are all very bittersweet about the Oilers season this year. Uh, the Oilers did well, but at the same time, they did horrific. Um, and there's not much else to say about that. There's a- you ever see a horse blanket size? People are, people are giving us Cam is giving up on the respect. Yeah. <laughs> this truck demands respect on the road. The other big rig drivers were giving me waves, nods of approval. Like this guy knows what he's doing. He's on a long haul with some precious cargo. And I got to get them home. And we made it. And we made it back home. We are back. Thank so you, Jerry. Thank, thank you for mix. watching. We'll be uh, back. Thank you, Sherwood Ford. 2020. The giant. Best wishes. Best wishes.